solve the simultaneous equation. So uh, lots of ways to solve these. Um, looking at this, I'm looking at probably uh, elimination. Uh, I'm looking at making the x's the same. That looks like the easiest thing. Because if I do the y's, it's got a bit more work. So uh, let's call this equation 1 and this one equation 2. If I do equation 1 and I double it, um, I'm going to get 4x plus 10y equals 32. So that equation is still valid because it's just double the first one. Uh, and then we've got equation 2. I'm going to write it in there. Uh, and I want to end up with a positive number as well as y. So I'm going to do this one, which I'm now going to call equation 3. I'm going to do 3 minus 2. Um, and that's going to give me no x's, which is what I want. That's the elimination bit. That's going to give me 7y. And then 32 minus 11 is going to give me 21. And that makes me think I'm onto the right track. So divide by 7, y is 3. Uh, and then I'm going to sub into 1. I get 2x plus 5 times 3 equals 16. So 2x plus 15 equals 16. So 2x. Take 15 on both sides is 1, so x is a half. Um, so that's what I think my answer is going to be a half and 3. But I'm going to check in equation, not the 1, equation 2. And I'm going to go 4 times a half plus 3 times 3. Uh, and that equals 4 lots of a half is 2. Plus 9 is 11. Tick. I know, therefore I'm right. Really good thing about simultaneous equations, you can get to the end and know that you've, you've got those three marks.